as Tanya mentioned, from our Phoenix studios, we have Sharon Niederman, and she is the author of New Mexico's Tasty Traditions. And Tanya, that sounds absolutely delicious. It's recollections, recipes, and photos. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're talking to Sharon about uh, the cookbook, and she has traveled New Mexico uh, looking at all the traditions, all of the recipes, of course, uh, that are out there. And New Mexico is rich with tradition. Mm. Uh, Sharon, talk about that just a little bit. Well, we actually like to, Tanya, eat our traditions every day. <laughs> in hey, I'm moving to your state, Sharon. <laughs> with, with a good helping of history uh, <laughs> alongside our fabulous, uh, inimitable, delicious, roasty, toasty, uh, green chili and our red chili. In fact, that is the state question. Right? I, love, I love this green chili. You have a green chili <laughs> cheeseburger trail. Tell me about that, Sharon. We, I want to take that trail. You must. You can go, Lou. You can visit about 74 stops all over the state in the big cities and in the little back roads and byways. And you can find delicious green chili cheeseburgers. We've got a green chili cheeseburger trail. Ooh. And if you want, before March 31st, you actually can submit your favorites to help compose the next map. If you want to go to uh, NewMexico.org, you can vote. Excellent. And if you want more wonderful, wonderful recipes on how to f fix and prepare at home these delicious chili recipes, Sharon, let's you talk can about, go. Let, let's talk about roasting chilies. Now, my Tom, sure, let's he, talk. He, roasts, he does them on the grill. This is how my Tom does them on the grill. And of course, that's the last mm -hmm. thing he has to do with them. Then they're handed to me. I have to peel them. Not a nice job. <laughs> And you don't want to scratch afterwards anywhere. No. <laughs> Very well <I> put. <laughs> What's or the best even way? pet the dog. <laughs> What's the best way, Sharon? <laughs> Well, there is a variety of ways. Uh, the very, very best way that I would recommend is you head over on Labor Day weekend to Hatch, New Mexico, the chili capital of the world, mm -hmm. and go to the Hatch Valley Chili Fiesta, and you can select your own, and they will put your bag of chilies into that propane roaster, and you can watch mm -hmm. them roast and smell the uh, delicious aromas and then you go home and freeze them for the year. If you want to do them at home, the grill is a great way. Also, just on a cast iron kamal over the stove on oh, a burner, yes. you don't feel like cranking the, up Tom the grill. Tom has done that too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and um, that's how and they then, and go from... And is it best then, Sharon? Uh, now, now, New Mexico knows the best way, so please don't, uh, you're going to tell me if I'm incorrect here. Then in a brown paper bag helps to make the skin start to pop on its own? Am I going far afield here? Not at all. You're right in the ballpark, Tanya. What you need to do is put those, those hot ones right off the grill mm -hmm. and stick them into a brown paper bag and seal it up and just let them sit there for about a half hour, 45 minutes till they cool down mm -hmm. and the skins will pop right off for you. And then what, what you might want to do, mm. excuse me for this, if you want, you can actually open them up oh, and yes. this is a matter of personal taste, of nice. course. Take out those seeds mm -hmm. and the, mm -hmm. the veins mm -hmm. and you can calm them down a little bit, but not too much. Sharon, you just mentioned uh, that uh, Hatch was the uh, ch green chili. Is it green chili or chili capital of the world? W in New Mexico, is New Mexico really, does it export more chilies than any other state in the Union? I think we do. And they are very healthful. They've got vitamin A and vitamin C, and they are tasty all year round. How many different varieties of chilies do you have in New Mexico? Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Well, we specialize in the green from sure. Hatch, and there is mm -hmm. no particular Hatch green chili. Um, the chilies that are grown there are given that name, but it's actually the Big Jim and the others that were developed at New Mexico State University. And then up north, we have our red Chimayo chilies. Mm -hmm. And this is actually the mature dried version of this green chili. It stays on the vine mm -hmm. longer. And um, the red chili is a totally different flavor. Some people are red chili diehards, mm -hmm. and others will only have green. And it's amazing how you can take the same basic, simple ingredients, the corn tortillas, the onions, the garlic, and in everyone's hands, they will come up special and different. Sharon, let's talk about tips and hints in using chilies in cooking, like if it's a cheeseburger or maybe it's a salsa, whatever the dish may be. Mm -hmm. I would put them in everything if I had my mm -hmm. way. Uh, tips and hints Absolutely. on doing that. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> 
So, so uh, different special yes. ways of well, preparing yes, chilies? Exactly. Well, oh great. Uh, well, one thing I love to do with them is kind of uh, put them in omelets, chop them up in omelets, meatloaves, mm -hmm. meatloaves. And, and if you will go to newmexico.org slash cuisine, we've got a jillion recipes up there. In my book, mm -hmm. um, we've got a wonderful recipe for a green chili souffle, where, which is a great contrast of flavors. You have very Ooh, nice spicy wow, ones on the bottom. Wonderful. And then your puffy, delicious, <laughs> gorgeous top. It's a real surprise when your guests get to the bottom of that you're casserole. Make, you're Let me you're tell making us hungry, Sharon. Uh, <laughs> what is it about New Mexico that makes it so con uh, conducive to grow green chilies? Well, we absolutely have the perfect climate. And we've got that long, hot summer sun, and we've got the great soil, and we've got the very wonderful cultivated seeds. Some of them that have been passed uh, are what we call a land race, and they like from Chimayo, and they've been passed down for years, and people wow. have traded them over the backyard fence. You're kidding. And we I just have the perfect conditions. <laughs> and, and people swear that they can tell the difference between certain chilies that have been raised in certain parts of the state by the way they are watered from our acequias, our traditional watering system of ditches. So they can tell the ones that come from Chimayo are holy chilies. Wow. And you can tell the ones that come well, from Well, we'd love to do a taste <laughs> test with you, Sharon. <laughs> Sharon, myth or fact, when picking a chili, the ones with the more pointed end are hotter? Ooh. Um, I think that is uh, a fact. It really? Is a fact. I thought maybe it was a myth, yes. but it's worked for me. But uh, I have been told that, and yes. it usually works in picking your chilies. I agree with that absolutely, and uh, you can't go wrong. No, you absolutely Sh can't go Sharon, wrong. Sharon, it's that. really been. A, you a, want to look for the big meaty ones. Sharon, <laughs> Sharon, it's been a hot topic this morning, so we thank you very thank much. Thank you, hon. It's been delightful. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Oh, I love chilies. I, we use them in, Tom uses them in so many dishes. They really are, you know, and I think people throughout the United States now, it used to just be a Southwest thing or a mm -hmm. West thing. Now it's all over the oh, United yeah. States. The grandma